Alright, about time to get out of this fucking place. Let's see if I fail the quest and meet the guy the next night. Because I've been in jail for 10 nights. This way up. Didn't say I failed anything. Really? Broken ass game. I gotta drop a hundred more of this stuff. Place to start. Inventory of the scribe. Because huh. I'm back in this town. Probably the books I didn't buy. You know, you want a little bit of a rampage, steal on and kill it, and then knock people out. Wait, what? You mean I'm unconscious? 
unconscious. Why am I unconscious? I'd like to discuss the price. Hmm. Carry weight is reduced too on my other stats. That's fun. Let's talk about the sure. What? Are we agree? That sounds pr very well. Cucumbers, they'll stay firm all winter. Buy them before someone else does. It was a firm cucumber. What the hell are you doing? I hope I can be. Have a word about the sure. Why? See now, I knew. Maybe ready for another day to reason. Now that I spent ten days, it didn't pop up like it did the first time I went to jail. But it might pop up at another point. I didn't notice. Let's see what happens.
Would you like to get up to some more mischief? It was fun the last time. Yes, it was. I'm a bit surprised you thought so too. Although a girl doesn't get a chance to tend the wounds of a gallant defender every day. It's quite late to be going out somewhere just now. Will you come tomorrow? You can't be here all day, every day.
find a way to find selling goods. The rest of it. to get something to eat. I'm starting to get hungry. Maybe this will fix it, and it'll show up. Yeah, it's not 
we know. before I slept. Get my nourishment up. But not be drunk. to you. Ten days of what do you need? I think it was in prison longer. Just for the indictment. I've got some goods here. All right. I've got some goods here who's all right.
to red is exclusive because it's like a rare one of a kind of item, I guess. All the fucking destroyed food. Hello, sir. Do you have any interest in buying some shit? How are you, Henry? I'm honored that you should come to me. Let's fight. I hope you've got coin this. I can't. Would 
you like to get up to some more mischief? It was fun the last time. Yes, it was. Although a girl doesn't get a chance to t Shall we play? That's really what you want to do? I know it's a game for children, but I always liked it, and I won't feel stupid playing it with you. All right, why not? Good. Feels more following it. Me. It's me. It's Almighty. Nobody will see us here in this barn. Are you shy? It's a game for little children. Of course I'm embarrassed. Well, adults play it too, you know. <laughs> but only when they're drunk. And I am. Incredibly. I'll cover my eyes. Well, they do say love is blind. Oh, cheeky boy. But this is a game you won't be winning. I've got ears sharper than a bat's. And I'm as stealthy as a cat. You'll never find me. <laughs> we'll see. But if you leave the barn, you lose. Come here. Come on, spin me around. What are you waiting for? Blind I may be, deaf I'm not. Make a sound, and you'll get got. How does it go after that? It doesn't matter. Go and hide. What was that? Was that you? Where are you? I bet you're here. No? Just you wait. I'll find you. Oh, I didn't get caught. At least whenever I need to get to the city again, I'll uh, put the fast travel point. But this doesn't fuck up my day that I got drunk and wandered away.
muito importante. Another random spot. What's it about? An offer you can't refuse. All right. As you wish. I don't have any money on me. Uh, that's a problem. Right, lives in a home when I was drunk. Or did I accidentally leave it behind?
still here in the barn. Look at this, I fucked that up. There she goes. Probably not too happy. I was wondering if... Oh, you were, were you? You know when I wanted to play Blind Man's Buff? I didn't expect you to go off and hide in the tavern or wherever you got to. I, uh... got cold feet. What do you mean? I... like you. Maybe more than I should. And I... was afraid of cocking it all up. You are the best thing I have in this world. Away with you. You should know by now I don't bite. You know what? We should do something fun. But I can't right now. Will you come back another time, please? Do you want some? I'd like to ask a favor. Of course. What is it? I heard you're picking people to carry water. No one needs the job more than Antonia. Adam never mentioned any Antonia. I'm not surprised. But Antonia really needs that job. Do you think she'll be able to handle carrying those buckets? It's quite far, and up that hill. She's no princess. She's tough enough. All right. All right. I'll bear it in mind. Bear it in mind? What does that mean? It means I'll think about it. The bailiff has the last word. Well, if he's got something against giving the job to a woman, then try and get Vincent in at least. He might not have anyone on their deathbed, but his mother has no one else. I've brought you some. Um, thank you, but I'm not quite sure what to do with it. Well, if, if something bad happens to you again, it could come in handy. I see. Well, that's a kind thought, but I'm not sure it would do much good against those three big men. Oh, I just gave her a dagger, so I need my dagger. That happens to work out. An unknown potion that I got while drunk. I'd like to know. That's all. Have you? Uh -oh. I won't. I've brought. What are you playing at, Hal? 
I could do with it. Hey! Good day to you. I've got some goods. All right. Let's have a word of naturally. Something with a fried chicken. Or the neighbors out here or something. Hey, watch it. What do you want? I want to ask about. But ask someone else. It only drives my customers away. Really? I heard a different story. I heard the two of you do business together. Who are you, anyway? A friend of Hinnett's. He's gone missing and I need to find him. I don't know where he is. But if you find the bastard, tell him he still owes me some goods. Oh, dear. I don't give a damn what deals you've been doing together. I won't tell anyone. I just need to know where Riki is. It's urgent. What have our deals got to do with where he disappeared to? <laughs> More than you think. It's likely Riki is hiding out at his poaching lair. And believe me, it wasn't hard to find out who was buying game from him, and it's even easier to go to the castle and tell them. Poaching's a crime, after all. All right, all right. But give me your word of honor, you won't tell anyone about our deal. You have of my word. Course. Fine. So, what do you want to know? I hear Hinek has a hideout in the woods he uses for hunting game. Do you know where it is? Not exactly. That is... I don't know where it is at all. But? But I happen to know it's a dark place, a cave, or an old mine shaft. How do you know that? Whenever Riki was going poaching, he always came to me first for candles and lamp oil. He brought the game skinned and gutted, so we had to have a light for that. How much game did he bring you? Not much, a few pieces. There's no great demand here. Sometimes the gentry hears something, otherwise it ends up in sausages. And do you know of any mine shafts nearby? There's a few of them around. There's one on the opposite bank, a short way off the path leading from the forge to the west. Then there's a mine gallery to the east of the village, uh, up in the woods above the cliffs. And I heard there's one shaft on the headland close to the water. Thank you. You're welcome. Watch you don't break your neck, though. It's rough ground, and you could easily fall down a shaft. What? What the hell are you doing? Eat, eat, eat. 
see it. Is. Oh. Being here, probably. My chat. I heard you've been seeing Hinek, the Tanner's son. So what? Come to preach at me, have you? That I'm a loose woman, a sinner, that I seduce decent men? God, no. Nothing like that. It's just that you're the only one in the village who sees Hinek, so I came to ask you about him. Aye. I've seen him often enough. But I don't know what I could tell you about him. I found out that Hinek goes poaching in the woods and he's got a hide out there. What do you know about it? Um. Don't worry. Hinek has much bigger problems than being caught poaching. And you're not involved in it anyway, are you? No, I'm not. It's true he used to go hunting in the woods sometimes. When he came back, he'd usually come to me. That's all. Do you know what route he took? At least the general direction, anything that could help me find his hideout. I think he usually went through the woodcutter's camp, because he always brought me freshly chopped firewood, and he had wood chips on his boots. Good. So at least I know where to start. How did you know he'd been to the woods? He always talked about what he caught, and he never came to me at other times. Probably didn't have the money for it. Do you know who he sold it to? He never told me straight up. But who could he sell it to? The innkeeper, I reckon. It makes sense. For sure. What do you think? Hot water and a good stomach. That's what the baths are for. Where can I find Hinek? I haven't seen him in the village for a few days. He must have run off to the woods again. Does he do that often? From time to time. What the hell does he get up to there? I... I don't know. He goes to the woods from time to time. That smells fishy to me. What do you mean? There's no law against it, is there? With all the yeah. footpads, looters, cumans, and God knows what other vermin around, it's not the sort of thing an honest man would do. But Hinek doesn't have anything to do with those people. Oh, really? Then what does he do there? I don't imagine he's gathering mushrooms. I really don't know what you want from me. So Hinek is a bit odd, and sometimes he goes off into the woods. So what? When did you last see him? A few days ago. He came to me late in the evening. Drunk. And that was unusual? I never saw him drink much. He always came to me sober. So he was acting strangely that evening? He was strange. I had the feeling he was afraid of something. He keeps prattling on and didn't seem to care about... You know what? So I threw him out and I haven't seen him since. Can you remember anything he said that evening? Oh, I'm not sure. He went on about some fellow called Lubosh who died. That he was regretting he ever got into it. But he never said what it was. And that it wasn't worth it for the money. Aye. And then he was talking about the money. That was very odd. What did he say about the money? Just that he had a pile of it hidden behind his house. I see. What did you say to that? What could I say? He was drunk. He kept saying I was a fine girl, and other harlots wouldn't go with him even for money. And if I wanted, I could even take half the money and leave. Or he'd go with me, and we could get married and such. All just poppycock. Did you go there for a look? No. I've got better things to do. Obviously he made it up. Where would a layabout like him get so much coin? Yes, I understand. Did he tell you exactly where he hid it? He said he buried it at his father's small holding in the western corner. All right, thank you.
all the spades. God be with you. Multitasking. 